This is a short video to demonstrate the recovery documentation workflow. From the tabs on the left, you will be able to view the patient's history, view any chronic issues they may have. These two areas should already be fully populated prior to them uh, coming to recovery. Documents, any other documents related to the patient's episode of care will be kept in here. This includes the perioperative document and the surgical post-op notes. And the pregnancy related information will be documented here. Any allergies or reactions should already be documented here. This can be added to if necessary. So once your patient gets to recovery, if it's handed over that they've had an adverse reaction to the drapes, if you click on allergies and adverse reactions, as you can see, a line comes up under it. This shows that it can, you can go to another page. So click on that, click add, and then scroll, move the screen down until you see folders. If you click on folders, um, it brings up this list here. Click on non-medication allergies, brings up another screen, fibres and materials. Um, we don't want that, so we will just cancel that. Go back to add, scroll down to folders. Non-medication allergies, fibres and materials, click on glue. If you double click it, it automatically adds it. OK, as I've just shown, if you click cancel, you can remove the um, addition that you've made. To go back to the recovery workflow page, if you click the back tab, it will take you back to where you were. Labs. This is where any blood results or any lab specimens for the patient will be documented. Again, you can change the filter on this to narrow your search down. Medications and medical devices. This is where you'll be able to see if your patient has been prescribed any medications, especially in recovery if, you, if your patient's um, been prescribed IV morphine or any other post-op pain relief, you'll be able to see it here. In order to administer any medications, so if you click on the menu tab, go to drug chart, you will then be able to administer as necessary. Again, to return to your recovery workflow, click the back button. Anesthesia record. So this is where what was the pink anesthetic chart will be recorded. Fluid balance lines, tubes and drains. Again, if you go on to it, you can see the line highlighted means it will take you to another screen. So let's just click on the fluid balance. This takes you to what is called the eye view. And this is where any other documentation can be found. For the purpose of recovery, if you look at the recovery lines, tubes and drains, this is where you'll find your central line, art line, IV, airways, wound drains, catheters, etc. And you can fill in as much or as little as you need. To add anything, you just double click on um, the box. OK. So if your, per, if your patient is in recovery and their airway is fine, you can just put patent without support. Um, yeah. So however much you want to document, you can. Again, if you go to recovery quick view, this is where all your times and everything will be documented. This page is basically your observation charts and all your observations should pull through from the monitor without you having to document anything. If for some reason it's not documented, again, you just need to highlight the box and double click it. 
and then you can add your free text. But this should, everything in blue should get pulled through. Once you have documented anything, the green, the tick will then become green. If you can click that, that's basically saying that you're signing to say that you have done it. And it'll be documented. If you go to this tab here, this is the refresh button. Click on the refresh button and that will automatically save to the document. Again, to go back to the main recovery workflow, click on the back button and we'll continue down. So the recovery departure will be the time the patient is ready to be discharged from recovery. Handover details, if there is any other details that haven't been covered that you want to put in here, this is a free text box. Um, so patient belongings returned. As you can see, you just document what you want. Then with your post-op instructions, you can put the surgical notes in documents. Vital signs, again, this is where your OBS will be documented. Then you need to create your notes or so click on recovery pack who hand over notes and everything that you have done should come up. So, as you can see, hand over and post up notes that has been pulled through. Once you're happy that everything has been completed, click sign and submit and the handover will be saved to the documents tab.